The ability to have robots that can do maintenance will be advantageous and the ability to add autonomy and autonomous uh, features will allow for more high value application for those robots. We are in the process of building a diverse portfolio of robotics applications. The first I'll go over is a company by the name of 57 Degrees, and they are in the process of developing a robot that will do QA, surface prep repair, and then QA the repair on painted surfaces. And the use case that they're looking for is an upstream use case which is offshore platforms and maintaining the paint coatings on those offshore platforms. I think one of the more interesting cases with that particular company is the fact that the QA on the final paint is actually built into the robot so that when the robot leaves the area it's doing this repair, you're digitally assured that that repair was affected. As robots are being designed with articulating arms, or features that can be able to work, whether it's a crawling robot or a unmanned aerial system, this will be where more and more robots will be developed for doing maintenance. And what it really does is it frees up the technician to actually let them focus on the more interesting part of their job versus the part of the job that frankly they may have struggled with in the past. So if we can give them tools that allow them to work on things in a way that they're excited to do, they're generally pretty pleased with that. ASME has a fair amount of presence in the non-destructive examination with our rules for examining both construction of assets and in-service assets. We also have rules for welding. But I think the outlook would be in the future, this will be where more and more robots will be developed for doing maintenance. You will see a shift in the skill set of our workforce that's required to execute some of this work. Typically, the technology companies that understand robotics technology don't necessarily understand exactly what goes on inside a refinery or a chem plant or an upstream production platform. Vice versa, the contractors that do work on our facilities typically do not understand the capabilities of robotics technology. So I think that there's a real opportunity for innovation here to bring these two companies together and I think we can have a real impact on the industry.